Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the interview question that were asked to me in KPMG interview. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without wasting any further time, let's move to the questions. First question for the video is explain your current project. And in this interview, interviewer asked me to explain the challenges while building the dashboard as well. Okay, I have already discussed how you can explain your current project in my previous videos. Also, I have uploaded one separate video on it. Okay, you can check out this. I will provide the link in the description box. Now, talking about the challenges, challenges can vary from project to project. If I'm giving a general idea, you can mention about the data that are coming from the different data sources, about their granularity, about their format. You can mention about the performance optimization. You can mention about the advanced data visualization aligned to the business requirement. Also, you can mention one important point that is version control. This is very common issues that every developer face, but forgot to mention in the interviews. Always mention about how you manage the version control of the dashboards. Now let's move to the next question. Latest version of Tableau. Whenever you are going for the Tableau interview, you should know what is the latest version of the Tableau. As of now, latest version of the Tableau is 25.2. And one counter question can be asked is like on which version you are currently working. OK, and then one counter question on this as well. What's the difference between your version and the latest version? So you should know these basic concept and what kind of features and functionality Tableau introduced in the latest version and your current version. OK, so you should know about their features and functionalities. Next question is what are the disadvantages of data blending? So as we know, data blending is used to connect data from multiple data sources, but there are few limitations as well because data blending happens at the aggregated level. Whenever we need to combine the data at the row level, we can't do it with the data blending. OK, if you check data blending always work with the left join. We cannot use other joins while working with the data blending as data blending assign primary and secondary data sources to the data. And third one is filters on that secondary data source. It doesn't apply before the data blending step because data blending applies sheet by sheet. Whenever we need to apply the filter, first we need to assign this is our primary data source and this is our secondary data source. OK, before making that we cannot apply filters on the secondary data source. OK, and fourth one that is very important is performance can degrade if the secondary data set is very large. This is very important point from the perspective of disadvantage of data blending. OK, let's move to the next question. How to create donut chart? There are a lot of videos available on the Internet or YouTube. I will provide the link in the description box. You can go and check it out how you can create donut chart. OK. Next question is find products whose profit is better than average of profit. So basically we have a list of products and we need to identify those products whose profit is better than the average of profit. OK, so for this we can write the calculation like this. Here we are using our profit field. OK, and then we are using greater than and window average function and then is then that is sum of. OK, so what window average function will do is it will calculate the average of all the products that are present in the view. OK, so for this we are using this logic. OK, and we are creating a Boolean fields because Boolean works better than OK, so whenever you need to use a calculation like a filter, you can always go with the Boolean instead of string so that you can assign color based on that true and false and it will optimize your dashboard as well. OK. Let's move to the next question. How to switch from one dashboard to other dashboard? So there are multiple ways to do that. First one is we can use the navigation button that is available under the object of the Tableau dashboard. OK, from object we can choose the button and then we can edit the button and give the custom image shape or text whatever do is and give the navigation to that dashboard. OK, and second one is we can use the sheet navigation as well. Like we can uh, for this we can go to the dashboard and then we can go to the action and under the action we can go to the sheet. OK, and then we can mention our source sheet and the target sheet. OK, and then based on that we can switch from one dashboard to other dashboard. So there are two ways. One is by using the navigation button under the object. And second one is we can use the sheet navigation that is under actions. OK. Next question is find first purchase date of customers. OK, so let's say we have 
a data where a customer place multiple order but we need when this customer was registered with our database or we need to find out first purchase date okay so how we can do that for this we can take the leverage of fixed lod if you look at this calculation here we are fixing customer id and then we are finding min of order date okay based on this you can find out first purchase date of each customer okay let's move to the next question next question is rolling 12 month sales to calculate the rolling 12 month sales we can use this logic where the date difference between order date and today days is greater than 0 based on the months and less than equal to 12 then it should show us sales okay if you want to calculate sales then you can create a string calculation like this and if you want to use rolling 12 months as a filter then don't use if and then then only condition and sales just use this logic and use as a filter as a true and false and create a boolean calculation okay this will help you to optimize your calculation and improve your performance of the dashboards okay so this will give a impact why you have created boolean calculation instead of string okay now move to the scenario based questions the first question was whenever we add any of the string value or any of the dimension into the view it gives the abc in front of that okay how we can hide that abc from the table view i have already explained this question in my one of the scenario based question video i will provide the link in the description box okay how to hide subtotal for one field out of four in a table if we look at this question so let's say we have a four measures based on the category so we have sales profit discount and ratio okay so what i want is i just want to hide the total for ratio and show for other three so how we can do that this is also i have explained in my tableau scenario based question series i will provide the link again in the description box okay now let's discuss the sql questions first question was very basic yet very important what's the difference between where and having difference between them is we cannot use having clause without group by but we can use where clause without group by as well okay where is used to filter the rows before aggregation but if we want to use the aggregated value we have to use the having okay and it will be used after group by and if we discuss about its execution order where is applied before group by and having is applied after group by okay you can give these two three differences between them the next question is what is scd type 1 type 2 okay so first we should know what is scd scd type is basically slowly changing dimension and it is used in a data warehouse to handle changes in the dimension over time okay so the type 1 is type 1 is basically you can remember is as a override so whenever let's say we have a data in our table when we use the type 1 it will override the oldest record with the newer one okay it doesn't keep the history okay this is very simple so you just remember override for that type 2 is basically type 1 was not maintaining history type 2 maintains the history and it will add a new row after a change okay and it will insert a new column to keep the history of that field the next question was how to optimize sql query two points that you should remember is you selected only four needed columns okay as you already know many of the times we use select star from table okay but instead of this we can only use needed column select let's say customer name customer id sales and then from table okay it will optimize the sql query and gives the faster result okay and second one is apply filter early we can use where clause before joins if possible okay third one is very important that is indexing create indexing on columns used in the joins where group by okay it will help you to the faster retrieval of the data okay by using all of these points you can explain how you can optimize sql query okay that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos